Hello everyone, happy holidays and welcome to my channel. My name is Sean and tonight I plan to point my telescope at the Orion constellation. If you watched my previous video on the Orion Nebula shot with a 6 inch telescope, you would have heard me say that I've been dying to shoot the uh, Orion Nebula with my 8 inch Raza here. Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to do that yet and by doing so I should be able to fit both the Orion Nebula and the Running Man Nebula in one frame. Since the Raza here shoots at f2.8, I don't have to spend too much time on that object. Uh, I'll probably only spend about an hour or so. And then I plan to move to the Flame and Horsehead Nebula. I haven't shot the Flame and Horsehead Nebula ever, not with my 6-inch telescope and definitely not with my 8-inch Raza here. So I'm pretty excited to see what kind of data I can get. My plan is to shoot the Orion Nebula first and then move to the Flame and Horsehead Nebula. And with those, I plan to do 10-second exposures for both images. Uh, this way, I can use the same calibration frames for both of those objects. I also want to give a quick thanks to everybody who subscribed recently. I just hit the 500 mark and it seems like I'm going to be hitting that 600 mark very soon. Uh, I've also been very engaged with some of you guys in the comments section, which is always nice. And if you guys have any questions or would like to see me go in detail over anything on my telescope rig, uh, please let me know. I'm happy to give more detail. Uh, all you have to do is ask. Tonight's not going to be too cold of a night. It's only going to be a low of minus 2, which is awesome. Uh, a lot better than minus 20 that we've had earlier in the week. The Orion constellation is just coming above the horizon right now, so I still have a few hours to get set up before I start taking some shots on these objects. So stay tuned, sit back, and I hope you learn something. I use this sky map application on my phone uh, to show me where celestial objects will be. And as you can see, the Orion constellation is just coming above the horizon right now. So I have a bit of time until that's available for my backyard. Uh, and I'll check in with you guys later once it is. So the camera that I plan to use tonight is the ZWO ASI 294MC Pro camera. Uh, this is the trusted and golden camera that I've been using for a while now. Um, I'm actually not going to be using any filters inside the filter tray, but I do have the Celestron light pollution filter that I plan to use, which is already set into the telescope. Let's attach it. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's the Celestron autofocuser. Um, I'm bringing it all the way forward and all the way back, uh, just so the mirror is in its right coloration. I've seen some other people have to do this because uh, at the edge of your field of view, there seems to be uh, some elongated stars if you travel with this a lot or, or if it gets bumped around. Um, and again, the, the way to fix that is to uh, bring the focus all the way forward and bring the focus all the way back, and that collimates the, uh, the back mirror here. So once that's done, I'm going to get this uh, back in focus, uh, start pointing towards some stars, and then start capturing some subs on the Orion Nebula. I'm back inside using TeamViewer to stream my mounts PC to my regular PC. And as you can see here, I have the Orion Nebula in frame. Uh, this is going to look very good. I'll just do a, a quick stretch right now so you can see uh, how bright this object is. Um, yeah, that is going to look amazing. I can also get some of the Running Man here. Uh, one thing you might notice is uh, this is kind of like a, a mirrored image, and that's what you get with the Raza telescopes. So I'll have to fix this in post. Uh, you can also see some satellites uh, going across the sky here as well. I wonder if these are from Elon and Skynet. Alright guys, it's about 12 o'clock at night, and I've spent an hour on the Orion Nebula already. I plan to shoot the uh, Flame and Horsehead Nebula now, so I'm going to point my telescope towards that and we'll get started. I still plan to use the same 10 second exposures I've been using already. That way I can use one set of calibration frames for both of these images. I'm going to head over there now and I'll talk to you guys soon.
Okay, I'm back inside and I have my telescope pointed at the Horsehead and Flame Nebula. One of the first things that I notice is that these two nebulas are a lot more faint than the Orion Nebula. So hopefully the 10 second exposures that I'm taking will be enough to get good signal. I'm going to do a quick stretch here. And you can start to make out the Flame Nebula right here. Uh, the Horsehead Nebula is somewhere in this section here. Um, but yeah, as of now I can't see that. So hopefully I'm capturing uh, enough data on this uh, to get a good image. If not, I might only have the Orion Nebula uh, to show at the end of this video. I'm going to spend a bit more time on this object. Uh, it, it's expected that I'm going to get clouds in the next hour or so. So I'll keep my telescope pointed here until that happens. Okay guys, so my session is just about done. I'm going to be taking my calibration frames here in a few minutes. Um, that's my darks and flats. And overall, it's been a great night. Um, I shot over uh, an hour on the Orion Nebula and close to two hours on the Horsehead and Flame Nebulas. One of the things that I'm excited for is to see the Orion Nebula in a wider frame. Each time I shoot this with my six inch telescope, uh, it does justice. I'm able to see the Orion Nebula almost in full view, but I end up cutting off uh, some of the image. So I'm really excited to see what this eight inch Raza can do. And with the Flame and Horsehead Nebula, again, I haven't shot these objects before, so I'm really excited to see if I can get anything good. Thanks for watching, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and I hope to see you guys in the new year.